I'm Kathy Tombaugh, and I work with parents who are concerned about their child's drug or alcohol use. So today I wanted to talk about the thinking behind the one size doesn't fit all approach and why it's important to keep that in mind when you're hearing advice from other people or trying to find your ways to help your child as you go down this very complex path. So if you're new, welcome, and I hope these tips are helpful. So there's many positive ways to find recovery and there's many paths to, to help your child live a more healthy life and to um, let go of the drug or alcohol use that might be really derailing them. So there's things like the medication assistant treatment program, which um, gives people medication. And that's a lot more accepted right now, but for a while that was really, um, many of the groups thought that that wasn't a great thing. People that believed that abstinence only was the approach felt like that wasn't really uh, the best way to to solve the problem. But it's really, research has shown that it has been helpful, not for everyone, but for many people. And it's a decision between doctor and patient to figure out if this is the right approach for you. The harm reduction is another one that some people aren't sure about, but it is a way to help people move them slowly towards recovery. They might not be willing to change completely, but they might be willing to reduce their use of a harder drug and maybe lower it down or use their, the drug or drink less often. And what can happen sometimes when people go down this route is that they realize that they really do need to stop. And what's powerful about it is that they have made this discovery themselves. It's not that they're being told from other people they need to change. So these are some ideas to keep in mind. What you wanna remember is that you and your family are unique. Your child has come to substance use for their particular reason. Um, they may have a mental health disorder they're dealing with. They may feel anxiety and depression. All sorts of reasons can drive a child to decide that they want to use drugs or alcohol. Um, it's similar to other people, but yet their, their situation is unique. You're going to hear strong opinions from peers and from even professionals. I've heard parents say, oh, my friends and family are saying I need to use the tough love approach or I need to kick my kid out or I need to do this or do that. I really urge you to listen to your own instincts, to listen to what you feel is important. Um, we really feel like the tough love approach is not one that's so helpful or letting your child hit rock bottom is not so helpful either. Too many of our children have never come back from hitting their rock bottom. Um, we know overdose is a huge part of addiction. Uh, it's very scary for parents. So we want you to try, to try to use any other approach that you can to help your child without distancing yourself or letting them fend for themselves. It's just not healthy and it can be very, um, you know, risky for your child to be out on their own trying to figure this out. And too often, um, young people go downhill before uphill when they're left on their own. So you want to remember that you don't need to step away, you don't need to detach or let go of your child. What you know, I encourage you to do is to step in, to be proactive. That's not enabling. People sometimes feel like if you do anything nice for your child, it's enabling. But what you want to remember is enabling and supporting their continued substance use and positive reinforcement or just being proactive is supporting their change. So always be asking yourself, it's a judgment call every single time. But again, there are things you can do to help your child that aren't considered enabling. So I hope this clears this up a little bit. Um, I think we too often we are given the message that there's one path, there's one way to find your way to recovery or change. And that really is just not the case. And it's really a lost opportunity when we don't work with our children to figure out what's going to be the best support for them, especially in treatment programs. If they're funneled into a one size fits all approach for some kids, it just isn't going to work. This isn't what's going to help them the most. So do support your child, really think about what they need. And I think that's going to give you the best chance of finding that they are willing to change and to find their path to recovery. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have other ideas or what your experience has been with the one size fits all approach, do let me know in comments. I'd love to hear your ideas and thoughts about it. And I hope this is helpful and we'll see you again next time.